So for a very long time, I've had a professional hobby, I guess, of collecting memorabilia from classified military operations. There is this subgenre of military insignia that are referring to covert and classified programs and projects and whose iconography and imagery are self-generated by the people involved in those projects. And so it's this really specific and bizarre kind of outsider art. For this exhibition, you know, I've made a sculpture that's inspired by one of these challenge coins that is made by an army psychological operations unit. This is what it looks like. And that's where the exhibition takes its title from. You've just been fucked by psyops. It's an exhibition of works around a theme of perception broadly. Not only the fact that our perception is malleable, but that that malleability of our perception can be weaponized. There are several different bodies of work in the exhibition. The first body of work are photographs of unidentified objects in the night sky. That's not to say they're photographs of UFOs. What I'm specifically looking at is a collection of objects that are in orbit around the Earth and whose identity is unknown. These are objects that the military tracks on radar, that they publish data about. These are objects we see, we don't know what they are. We can't associate them with any specific launch. They're just out there. So I get that data from the military. I track those objects, spend the better part of the day modeling the orbits. And then I go out in the desert and I use really specialized telescopes to try to photograph them as they pass through the night sky. It's a little bit of a metaphor. You know, you're looking at space, you're looking at the cosmos, you're seeing things, you don't know what they are. And in some cases, it's entirely likely that they are some kind of operation that's designed to deceive you. The exhibition also features a video installation with a, a guy named Richard Doty, who worked for Air Force Office of Special Investigations in the 1980s. He worked at a place called Kirtland Air Force Base in New Mexico. They were doing all kinds of weird stuff there. They're doing things with stealth airplanes, laser experiments, nuclear weapons, and people would see UFOs in the skies above this base. What Rick would do would be to penetrate these UFO groups and run disinformation and misinformation operations in them to get them to look at the places that he wanted them to look, to believe the things that he wanted them to believe, and to guide their attention in ways that he believed would benefit the Air Force. On the other hand, he claims that UFOs are completely real, he claims that he was read into top secret programs outlining the relationship between the U.S. government and extraterrestrial technologies. As a result of this back and forth, he can be a little bit of a mind-bending person to try to talk to. It's very difficult to know what's real and what isn't. I've been looking at technological systems and I've tried to understand what forms of sense making are built into technological systems and what kind of politics are associated with those forms of sense making. I guess what I've always tried to do in my work is kind of respond to the moment in history that we're in, or at least my experience of the moment in history that we're in, and to try to pay attention to the things that are shaping culture, shaping politics, shaping society. And this feels like a very upside down moment to me where there's no consensus on the truth, where uh, manipulation operations seem all pervasive, where um, we're building technologies that will only amplify that. As an artist, I think I'm trying to respond to that and not so much try to make sense of that so much as distill that into a series of kind of sharp points. Not far into the future, we are looking at a world that will be 
characterized by ubiquitous psychological operations. 